The rising decrease in water supply across the country is likely to escalate if the wanton degradation of environment being witnessed in the country's catchment areas continues unchecked. Thank that report. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, a report by the Kenya Water Towers Agency that was presented to Environment Cabinet Secretary Keria Kotobiko reveals that wanton destruction of water towers and wetlands in the country will soon plunge the country into a major water crisis. It is true and uh, out of our findings that people are using licenses that uh, are allocated for a different region to harvest in one region. And again, this is just a corrupt practice. It's not something that uh, even in some cases of course the institutions involved including the police or administration police or the, the others they are also surprised that it actually happened i am quite convinced that the agency has a critical role to play and i am convinced beyond doubt that <coughs> that the agency be given the teeth the legislative anchor to be able to coordinate um, all these um, uh, all these agencies in regard to protection of forest. The report, which focuses on the Chulu and Mau East water towers, identifies charcoal burning, growing of bang, and wanton cutting down of trees as some of the major contributors to a declining forest cover in the country. The report which will be presented to Parliament for adoption makes several recommendations to safeguard the country's 13 gazetted water towers, including saving water towers, mapping of all water towers, development of water towers policy, gazettement of more water towers, fencing of water towers with bamboo, among other recommendations. Dan Kaburu K24, Weekend Edition.